I have a really great tripod and I tried making this video earlier. I got a little upset. I didn't have it with me, but that's not what's important. I got this ink and I wanted to do a review on it because I've never seen a review done on a purple heart. Now here you have August 7th, 1782. George Washington's awarding the Medal of Merit, Military Merit. And this is Noodler's uh, exclusive to Goulet pens. Purple Heart. And of course, you know, you see the medal. And as Noodler's does, you get a generous amount of ink. You can see the purple hue to it. And I, I didn't see a review done of this, so I wanted to do one. And first of all, you're talking Purple Heart. Um, the first thing that comes to mind to me personally is this man right here. Uncle John Simo. Gunning Sergeant in Marine Corps. Now, this is a guy, see all the, this is when he got out of the service. It's World War II, Korea, uh, Iwo Jima, Saipan, Battle of Chosun Reservoir, specifically I have here, in which he earned this merit here, which is the Bronze Star with Valor. And if you go on and read this, I, I did a Try to do a previous video from. Uh, you can pause it if you need to. What it tells you is that in the President of the United States takes pleasure in presenting the Bronze Star to Staff Sergeant John Seymour Jr., United States Marine Corps, uh, for service and citation. Uh, Company A, 1st Engineering Battalion, 1st Marine Division, uh, 10th and 11th of December, 1950. The Battle of Chosen Reservoir. Basically, what he did was um, cut a bridge with uh, several other Marines uh, against what was technically the Chinese. And... Uh, Saved thousands of lives. Uh, my Uncle John lived with us for many years. And he had been hurt. And we lived in Ligonier. And that's why we moved to where we live now. Um, he had been hit by a car. And uh, the doctor said to him at the time, you know, if you, there's ever a lightning storm, I don't want it to be anywhere around you because you have more metal in your body from being in war pins and needle, metal pins and plates and you, you name it. That was John. A true gunning sergeant, Marines Marine. The toughest SOBs I ever met. My dad's brother. And when he came back, none of these uh, awards meant anything to him. He didn't care about them. But I have his box has this paperwork and looking through it I'm always really impressed by it so that's what I want to point on to here this right here now, now why, what does that mean to me I, I had a friend from Australia and, and Nathan from Noodlers is kind enough to make this for us a friend from Australia and he, he didn't totally understand my idea of patriotism. I, I live with this guy, had PTSD, shows on reservoir, whole way from beginning of World War II to the end of Korea. He came back and his kids and his wife took off. He lived with us. That was the only family he had. I'm one of the few left to know Skelly. That was Skelly. Look at this ink. The George Washington presented the first Purple Heart, which was nothing like the metal that you see here. It was just a little 
Purple Heart. And uh, real Purple Heart, John had three of them. Shown to you. Not mentioning it, Merritt. This one in the middle is, of course, a replica. You can tell by the color. And I didn't have all three. But these two here, if you look very carefully, the color is not a purple that you would think of as a royal purple. And there's a damn good reason for it. And I'm going to explain this, this metal to you. It's a reddish purple because... It's a royal purple earned by the blood and patriotism of the men like my Uncle John have earned this. And as George Washington's face here, the laurels, their front and back, this symbol here. Three stars, two bars, which is George Washington's um family crest and you can go to his family burial ground in uh king george virginia you know and where he grew up and you can see his father's grave his brother and many other washington's and they're, they're all marked with this and what it was they were knights of uh britain and there were two what he thought were eagles but they were actually crows and washington's were knights and these three stars represent the spurs of their horses and the lines, the, the blood trails that were first into battle. They were known for being shot at, have horses knocked out from under them, everything, and never being killed, which is very true of Washington's own story at the Battle of Monongahela, if you're familiar with that. So this is the Purple Heart. This is my Uncle John. He has three Purple Hearts and why I'm very honored to buy this ink. And I think of him. So what is this ink anyways? It's, it's a reddish purple. People buy it and they say, oh, it's not the purple I thought it was. Well, you don't know the history of this man and this man. So I have it inked up. And uh, this noodler's Ahab. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it worked. See, it's a reddish purple. And here I have the words Guard against the impostors of pretended patriotism. George Washington's farewell address. Noodler's Purple Heart. And here's the ABC's. Upper case and lower case. And instead of doing something about a red fox, I wrote, because I had a very dear friend who was a, Sasha, okay, she missed me. About all we cared. <laughs> so anyhow, I had a friend named Vicky who was very fond of purple, so I just, instead of writing about a red fox, the girl named Vicky had a, has a noble heart and a purple. Purest, I don't know, purest purple. And then some lines, variation here. And you can see it's a nice, I'm using um, copy paper. That's what I usually use. I, I write on that. I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm going to show people how it actually works on paper you'll probably be using every day. It's a lubricated ink. So let's try it here.
horrible signature. You get, get an idea of what it looks like wet before it dries. Not much difference. Uh, not much shading. Not much variation. There's pink. It's a purple, I believe, a little bit of red in there. Very close to the color you find in a purple heart. So before you all give Nathan too much shit, he got it right on. Look at that. It's perfect. I even did some, did some uh, shading there with it. And um, if you get one of my books and it's signed with purple ink, you'll know this is the ink I used. I'm very fond of this. Um, for my Australian friends, I use a lot of uh, black swan in uh, Australian roses. And I'm also fond of Liberty's Alyssum, which is another wonderful Noodler's ink. I would be... I prefer to forget to say that the reason to use a lubricated ink in such a pen is because with a piston filler, it also helps lubricate this, this as well. So if you buy it, it doesn't spider, even on cheap copy paper. It looks lovely. Pick yourself up a bottle.